My fingers are too fat to tie the string. It does, it's not that hard. It's just one little bow. Cut this. It looks better and it's easier. Okay. It's more sustainable. More yes, people can put a sticker than tie a bow. It's the same color. The box is black and white. The paper is white. The sticker is black point. and white. That's the point. That's the point. But you need some. Uh, it's got to look good to really the not. eye. You got to break it up. Okay, okay, it's okay. not look good. Let's settle this once and for all. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. So we've been really busy lately behind the scenes. Way too much stuff to put in a single YouTube video. We donated stuff for auction. Jenny's been making tons of sales. We've been doing a lot of fulfillment. And we're finally getting all the details ironed out in our shipping process for these cutting and charcuterie boards. So out of all the questions we get on social media, questions about our packaging are definitely the most popular. Where do you get your boxes? How do you tie up your boards? How much do you spend on shipping? Who do you use for shipping? Do you have a label printer? What kind of labels do you print? Where do you get your crinkle paper? Why do you use string? Where'd you get your stamp? How do you do all of your branding? Those questions. So today we're just gonna take you through a little show and tell of how we package our boards. So if you've ever asked one of those questions, today is your day. So this is my brother, Eric. He's been here helping us with the business, and today we're gonna walk you through a sample charcuterie board order. We're gonna pretend like we got an order for a charcuterie board and walk you through the whole process. We usually get orders in one of two ways. First way is when a realtor texts us because they have a bulk order and we just need to fulfill it for them. Or we get an email because somebody bought a board from our website and we just need to look at the email and fulfill it. So every morning, it's my job to wake up and check our email to see if we've gotten any new orders. And I also check the business phone to see if we have any text messages from realtors so that right away in the morning we can get the boards in the mail. So for this situation, we're just gonna pretend that I got a big email and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the fulfillment process. So the first step in the checklist is to select a cutting board from the storage area to fulfill the order. So let's go do that. So now we get to take this guy and put him in the glow forge and put the desired engraving on it. Eleven minutes later. So just like magic, the glow forge engraved the engraving. It finished the board and it tied this fancy little leather thing. All for me. So now it is time to start the packaging process. So our number one question we get all the time is where do we buy our boxes from? So here are three companies right here that you can get custom printed mailer boxes from. We've pretty much tried them all. They're all roughly the same price. So just pick the one that works best for you. The boxes do get cheaper the higher number you buy. So for us right now, the way we order them, they're at about $6.50 a box, just based off of the volume we buy. So now we need to weigh out two and a half ounces of crinkle paper for the charcuterie board. That helps pad the board during shipping and my sister says it looks pretty. So next what we do is we wrap this board in freezer paper. And the reason we do that is one, to create a little bit of an unboxing experience. A lot of fun for people to undo the freezer paper and see their brand new board. And two, it also creates a little bit of suspense. We don't want people to open the box and right away see their board. We want them to walk through a little bit of a journey. And three, it also keeps the finish from being wicked away by the crinkle paper that's in the box. Cause sometimes the crinkle paper sucks up the oil from the finish. So it's a little bit of protection as well. And now to keep the paper shut, we wrap it with a little bit of string. But, if you got bad hands like me, you undo this string and you just put a sticker. No, what are you doing? We use a string, not a sticker. My fingers are too fat to tie the string. It does, it's not that hard, it's just one little bow. 
Why did we buy all these stickers then? Because we bought those for the tops of the finishing tins, not to shut this. It looks better and it's easier. Okay. It's more sustainable. More yes, people can put a sticker than tie a bow. Yes, but it's all the same color. The box is black and white. The paper is white. The stickers black point. and white. That's the point. That's the point. But you need something to break it up. No, you visually. don't. It's like you when don't. you decorate you a don't. room. You don't make it all out of white cotton. You add like yes, you do. Some you know different fabrics and textures. And you is like, this a room? No, this, no, is, this is a board. No, but it's the same concept. It's not. It's gotta look good it's really to the not. eye. You gotta break it up. Okay, okay, this okay. Not look good. Okay, okay. Let's quit arguing. This is not the first time we've had a fight about this. Let's settle this once and for all. Order, order, order in this wood shop court. All right. In the case of civil unrest between Team String and Team Sticker, how do you both plead? I'm right. No, I'm right. No, you're not. I'm right. All right. We're gonna settle this once and for all. We'll leave the people to decide. Please place your hand upon the holy walnut. Do you swear to tell your opinion, your whole opinion, and nothing but your opinion, so help you Jimmy DeResta? I do. Always. Since the string is the official policy, Team String will get first remarks, followed by Team Sticker. I don't know if you've noticed this, but everything about this packaging process is paper. It's a paper box. We've got crinkled paper. It's wrapped in freezer paper. You're really gonna add a paper sticker to this mix? All that tells me is your argument is literally paper thin. So the next time you need your big sister to come save you from something, don't expect me to stick her up for you. Cause you know what? I'll tell you exactly where you can stick that sticker and it's not on our packaging. <laughs> oh, yeah. Order! 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 All right. Ow. Team Sticker, what is your response? Well, maybe if you're a team sticker, you could stick up for yourself a little bit better than that. We should be using stickers because it's more efficient. We all saw in the prior clip that it took Jenny a very long time to actually tie the bow, and she has hands of a toddler. I've got these fat fingers. I can't tie a bow as well as you, I'll admit it. But it's more sustainable. When we hire people, they're gonna have normal hands. So stickers are gonna be faster. And plus, they just look slick. People love ripping into things like presents. So if you weren't stringing on this argument, fulfillment process would be a lot shorter. Well, you've heard the case from the representatives of both sides. We'd like to put it up for you to decide. We're gonna have an Instagram story over the next two days if you're watching this video in the first two days that it posts, and you can go vote on the Jenny and Davis Instagram story what your official vote is, Team Sticker or Team String. Also, we would love to hear your comments down below, hear your reasoning. What do you guys think is the best method going forward for the packaging? Obviously, it's not a huge decision, but it kind of is at this point. We've all been on both sides of the argument we've changed our mind we just don't know what's best if you're watching this after the three days uh subscribe to the channel maybe you'll see the video where we share the result so if you're not subscribed to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button ring the bell smash the like button do all the things you're supposed to do on a youtube video <laughs> so again the official count is happening on the jenny davis instagram story so leave your official vote there let us know your reasoning down in the comments and we will catch you on the next one team sticker ask me how i do it i just stick to the